Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. So for today's lab, we're going to make a tutorial on how to send data to Google Sheet. So for demonstrating on how to send the data, so I will make an apps for expenses. So for this app, uh, you you can key in your item and price expense. So for example, petrol or food and then those data will be sent to the google sheet and store in it so first create a new project and then start with the layout so we can have a vertical arrangement here so set the width as field parent and then go to user interface and then add label change the width to fill parent uh, make it center and the label the text here you can change it to expenses you can change the font to a much bigger font and make it bold okay then insert layout table arrangement so we need to have a two column and two row with fill parent width. Go to user interface, add level, two level here, which we need to change it. This first level is item, item that you spend the money and Level 3 is the price or we call it expense in RM. And then next we need to add text box so you can key in The item and also the the price that you spend or the, the total amount that you spend. So you can change the hint here is the item one here is the RM. So you can change the text box, you can rename it to item expense. Rename it to expenses. And lastly, you need to have a button. So you can go to the layout and insert um, vertical, make it fill parent, and insert button here inside. So change the width to fill parent, text box, change it to submit now, one thing we need to add connectivity because we want to connect it to the google sheet so we need to add web so this web we can rename it to google sheet Okay, that's all. Then we can go to the block design. So in the block design, you need to add first is go to the button, which is the submit button, and choose when button click 
when button one click do so first you need to call the URL of the Google Sheet so go to the Google Sheet and then add when Google Sheet URL so this one eh? set URL Google Sheet dot URL to and then we need to know the URL so I will show you after this and last and the next thing is the after you put the URL you need to call the Google Sheet so you need to put this block command so before we go to the Google Sheet we need to add one more thing here we need to put join because we have a few command that we need to put in the URL address okay guys to set up uh, Google Sheet so kita kena create blank sheet and then go to um, tools and create a form so it depends on your internet if it's slow so you need to wait a bit so uh, google form will appear on the next tab on the new tab and then you can insert first is the item change to short answer add new question uh, another, uh, the next question is the expenses and then change it to short answer so that's all and then you can go back to the google sheet after you uh, add the Google form, a sheet will appear here. State that form press one one. So you can click here, and then you can have uh, you will have three column: timestamp, item, and expenses. So in your apps, once you key in your item expenses data, it will automatically fill in these two columns here, and also automatically the timestamp during your insert go back to the google sheet and then click here and then get click get pre-fill link once you the tab the new tab appear copy the link above And then the easiest thing is you can paste it in the first first in the word because you need to edit it. What you need to do, you need to change the prefill wording here to form response. And then copy it and paste it in the IMIT apps. S okay and then next is you need to add the item and expenses to do that you need to do to do to get the link you need to put for example x and one here and then get link once you get link there is a pop up link copy link and then paste it again in the word so what you need to do is you need to copy this first for the item link and for the price expenses for the expenses is this one And then you need to change this to question mark so that 
the data that you send is not restricted and then copy this to MIT X. So add here and another one. Okay, so this is the item and this is the expenses. So, item expense. To add more string. Change this to tax, and another one is the expenses. But before that, you need to add because this is not number, this is special character wording, so you need to add encoding. So Google, go to the Google Sheet and then add Where is it? Encode Okay, this one Add it here And it's done So you can try to connect to your AI companion So for your task uh, this week and next week, so you, you need to add a function on how to read the data from the Google Sheet. So after you key in your data, the data will send to the Google Sheet and then you need to retrieve back the data from the Google Sheet and make it appear at the apps. Uh, and then for this task, I'll give you two weeks this week and next week to finish it. Um, and also, please work uh, within the assigned group that you already did before. And please send your .eia file and .apk file to the author UTHM. You don't have to make a video for it. Okay, that's all guys. Okay, Assalamualaikum.